The track and field team had great success in the indoor season and expect even better results as we transition to the outdoor season. And reporter Liz Garcia found out what makes the Seminoles such a powerhouse. Unity, solidarity, fellowship. Three key qualities embraced by members of Florida State's track and field team. Qualities that are imperative on any team, but particularly on a team made up of more than 100 athletes representing 17 different nations, 18 different states, and five of seven continents. With the outdoor season now on the horizon, the track and field team is depending on their international dynamic and close bond to take them all the way to the top. I've been on a few teams, it's probably, you know, this is probably the closest team. We, we all love each other, we're all there for each other. You know, we'll be at ACC's, no one's running by themselves because everyone's around the track just shouting for them. And everyone's friendly in practice. I'll be there, everyone's shouting for me. And that's just practice, so yeah, we are, we're pretty close. The distance runner from the UK didn't really know what to expect when coming to the US, but his teammates made him feel right at home. Norwegian hammer thrower Katja Vangsnes echoes her teammates' feelings. Every time we're in a championship or in a competition, we all support each other and back each other off. And I feel like we're all, you can like, this team we mix throwers, sprinters. It's not like split up or divided like a lot of other teams I've seen. So even other teams come up to us in like meets and like, wow, your team seems so much fun. And you all are like cheering and just, yeah, having a good time. Antigua and Barbuda's very own CJ Green is no stranger to international competition. But moving to another country, well, that was an event within itself for the Seminole Sprinter. The biggest adjustment is probably living on my own. I've never had to so so-called fend for myself in terms of having to pay rent, having to cook for myself, having to wake up on my own, <laughs> relentlessly, to get ready for school, so that's probably one of the biggest adjustments. Known for producing track stars, Estonia's Greta Sadeko comes from a long line of multi-sport athletes. My sister is a hip athlete too, she's four years old, older than I am, she went to London Olympics, so we've already had a plan since four years ago that to Rio, we gotta go together. In the 2012 Olympics, 14 members of the track and field team represented Florida State and 12 competed for different nations. As the Summer Olympics draw closer, these athletes will be putting their skills to the test, hoping to showcase their abilities on an international stage. Kelly Onib aspires to represent Jamaica in the Olympics as well and has all the tools necessary. Her teammates said she's the funniest girl on the team, but before she got that reputation, she noticed something when she moved across the waters that caught her attention. Everyone was wearing socks with sandals. It's hot, it's Florida, it was 80, 90 degrees and everyone was wearing sandals and thick socks, so that was kind of surprising to me, very new. Millions of people from across the globe desire to come to the United States in order to live out the American dream. But members of Florida State's track and field team won't rest on that accomplishment alone. They live off that dream and desire. They're putting their vision into action, making it their reality on a world stage. I'm Liz Garcia, reporting for Seminole Sports Magazine. The Seminoles welcome Miami, Ohio State, and North Carolina to Tallahassee for the FSU Relay starting Friday, March 27th and running through the weekend. They'll travel south a bit to Gator Territory for the Florida Relays that take place on Thursday, April 2nd. For their complete schedule, go to Seminoles.com.